Hey, what's up, boys and girls? This is Nick with EDC Mag, and today we're going to talk about a couple knives from Andre de Villiers. Before we get into that, I want to show you this real quick that I picked up. Cool little dude. This is a Zippo lighter that's been customized by Wasteland Oddities. So if you're a smoker, I'm not a smoker. Uh, well, I smoke cigars on occasion. Um, these are done by Wasteland Oddities. They do custom leather wraps on Zippos. Pretty freaking cool, actually. Wasteland Oddities, and you can find them on it's uh, wastelandoddities.com, and they're on IG too. But uh, they make some really cool, unique stuff. Um, it's just three guys that are very creative that got together and you know started a little company and they just actually just a few days ago made a, a, uh, a custom lighter and they do leather stuff and metal stuff and key fobs and just all kinds of neat little stuff but they're really super well known for what they do with these lighters and one of the first things I did was uh, because I'm a cigar guy and I'm always smoking you know outside I replaced the insert with with a dual torch which I love but they just did one that was a, a Necronomicon and man I don't know if they just had one or had a couple I even knew when the drop was and by the time I got to the website gone so they go fast but uh, they're super cool very unique uh, if you're not familiar, Necronomicon, Book of the Dead, uh, kind of from the movie Army of Darkness with Bruce Campbell, one of my all-time favorite movies, it's just a fantastic one-liner movie. Uh, give me some sugar, baby. <laughs> I love that movie. Wasteland Oddities, check them out. They make some really cool, neat, different, unique stuff, so uh, super cool. All right. So what I want to talk about today is ADV or Andre de Villiers knives. So I have a couple here. They're both battle cleavers. So we have a full size and we have a mini. So I think we should start with the mini. Now if you're not familiar with ADV, ADV is a South African maker. He has just recently made the move to the states in a full-time permanent capacity and he makes a whole host of different knives different styles and he is definitely one of my favorite makers just because uh, you know I stopped actually counting how many of his knives I've had I stopped counting at 15 just because I got tired of keeping track but I've had a lot of his knives in a lot of different styles and I just absolutely love them. Now, what these things are classified as, these would be a, a mid-tech. Because what Andre does, and Andre's been making knives for like 30 years. I mean, he's been around a long time. And he's really got, he's, he just has some super cool designs. Definitely, hands down, one of the best cleavers in the business. And he has a butcher, and then he has the battle cleaver. And uh, I've had quite a few of, of his butchers as well, four or five. And absolutely love those as well. Now the Battle Cleaver, different design, super cool. Um, and what Andre does is he has the pieces cut somewhere else and he brings them in-house and does all the finish work and the detail. And, you know, if you want Mocha Tire, Damasteel, I mean, there's just, you know, Elephant Tusk, um, Zebra Tail, you know, <laughs> whatever the hell you want. I mean, Andre can do. I mean, he's a creative guy. Um, but he will bring them in-house and do the final customization and man the action on these things are just always phenomenal and uh, So this one uh, the mini cleavers are somewhat rare uh, There's not nearly as many of these out there as there are you know the the full size, but uh, they're super cool So if you like the look but don't want something quite so you know big and scary um, these things are a great option um, you can, I mean, depending on how they're customized, I mean, this one is a red Cerakote with a uh, black coating on the blade. It's not a heavy coating, so you can still, and I'm not a huge fan of coatings on blades, but it works on this because of the black and the red contrast. Plus, 
on these, um, on both of these, I'm going to show you. You can still see the design. You know, when you have a really heavy, dark black coating on a blade that isn't just simply a flat grind, um, it kind of, in my opinion, takes a little bit away from the design. Um, these, you don't have that issue. So you have all this, you know, black hardware, uh, black blade, black clip. Roller clip, which is key, man. Once you have a roller clip, you never want to go back to anything else. Those things are just, just stupendous. I mean, they're just, uh, it's like driving a car with air conditioning and then having to give it up and go back to a car without air conditioning. You just don't want to do that, man. These roller clips has worked really well. And unfortunately, um, these don't retrofit, so they don't fit like older models. So if you have like a 2014, 15, 16, um, I think he started roller clips in 2017. Maybe 2016. I don't remember exactly, but um, they don't they don't retrofit, so they won't fit your older models. But um, you know that's one thing that I, I really like that Andre does is he uh, he dates his knives so you know what year they were made, and that gives you an idea when you're looking at them, kind of what features they might have, <clears throat> whether they might be a D2 or an S35 or an M390, you know, if they're going to have a roller clip or not, um, you know, different things along those lines. I mean, he's made tweaks on these things as, as they have progressed over the years. So this is the Mini. It's S35 VN roller clip. Um, awesome action. Cerakote. Red and black. I mean, the contrast on these are awesome, and uh, you know, it's a it's a three inch blade. Well, I would say three point two, but the cutting edge is right at three inches. And you can pick these up. Like I said, you can pick these up anyone for anyone that deals in Andre's knives. But you know, Blade HQ, Knife Center, some of the big guys. But uh, these aren't as easy to get um, but what you can always do when you're looking for a knife especially if you want something specific is reach out to Andre uh, you know on your own through either Facebook or Instagram um, he's very easy to get a hold of very responsive and you know he'll walk through things with you on whatever model you're interested in and different finishes and he'll give you options you didn't even know were, were realistic um, I want to say these start around, uh, I want to say four, four fifty, maybe somewhere in there, and they just go up from there depending on what's been done to them and you know what kind of finishes there are. I know these red and black ones there weren't a lot of them out there. I was lucky to come across this. I've had this for about a year. Absolutely love it. Love his knives. I've never had a bad ADV yet. Uh, let's see what this thing weighs. All right. So we are looking at a little bit over five and a half ounces. I'll make up your mind. Somewhere in there. A little bit over five and a half ounces. All right. Which is a little heavy for a three inch, 3.2 inch blade, but one thing about this and both of these we're going to talk about is they lay very flat. So yeah, it's a tall blade. I mean, it's a freaking cleaver, but it's not a giant obtrusive cleaver. Um, I'll give you, all, can I give you a couple examples. For one, a lot of people are familiar with is the Kaiser Sheepdog. And um, I want to say it's at like a 2.8 if I remember correctly. But, um, you know, I'm a huge cleaver fan. I have tons of cleavers. Cleavers come and go. I love them all. Uh, this one I beat the living snot out of all the time. It, it does all my uh, mail opening and box cutting and, and just all kinds of different stuff. And I use it in my office constantly. And uh, great little knife. But just to give you an idea, these are pretty common. A lot of people have them. This is the mini. And there's a medium size that's 3.5. That's and then there's an XL. And we'll get into the XL here in a little bit. But uh, yeah, anyway the mini cleaver super cool um just uh, you know yet another cool design from andre i mean the dude rocks he knows how to make a knife uh oh okay let's do this real quick just for kicks and giggles so there's our trusty kershaw so you got so you know from 
scale blade to scale you're looking at about 3.2 3.2 cutting edge on this is about three but this isn't a super tall blade I mean it's tall all the way out as opposed to having a clip point because it's a freaking cleaver um, but you know that steel weighs a little bit but s35 en very cool little blade if you don't need all the size but you still want the brute um, this is a mean little dude love the look absolutely love the look for people that don't get cleavers I don't know what to tell you man because I use cleavers every day for every you know pretty much every application I, I, I just absolutely love cleavers has a great place for a lanyard for you lanyard guys obviously frame lock great action solid jimping back here where you want it to grip in your palm and on your thumb now again this isn't a huge knife so if you really want to stretch your hand out I mean you can really bear down on this sucker but it'll work when you need it when you, you it'll still pack really well in your hand I mean it's gonna do whatever you need it to do and that's still a point man I mean it's cleaver not all cleavers have this but the way he brought this down and out you know you can gut something with that that will tear the living crap out of a cheesecake I'm just gonna tell you right now <laughs> all right so let's get to his big brother so this and it okay this is the full-size battle cleaver now listen listen turn your sound up yes now that is the sound of a knife that's a knife I love this thing and when I was looking I'd wanted about you know I'd had quite a few butchers and when I I was wanting a battle cleaver and man the the finishes he puts on these things and the the designs and the oh man they're just, just insane some of the stuff he does with these and uh, you know I've seen him up twenty five hundred dollars anywhere between twelve twenty five hundred dollars I don't know what this one ran originally I'm guessing probably around nine hundred to a thousand but this is a very basic model and what I wanted when I think battle cleaver I want something that's gonna that I can beat up and tear up and abuse and and use and carry and not worry about you know scratching damage steel now some knives I, I want really fancy but for something called battle cleaver personally I didn't and man when I had an opportunity to get this I, I jumped on it because this is exactly what I was looking for um, I made that mistake with my Mikkel uh, Willemson knife um, I was wanting one that I could carry and beat up and I ended up getting one that was way too damn fancy for me um, but that's alright that happens uh, don't regret it this is the full size so it's a four inch blade this particular model was made in 17 it is M390 steel which is one of my favorite flavors someone before me had the clip I would say heat anode that's fine I don't care I mean I kinda like it it's cool enough has that roller clip you gotta have that man just gotta have it and again I'm not a huge fan of coated blades but the way this one's done it's not such a heavy coat you can still see the design features which I love uh, love a recurve slight recurve right there compound grind and it's all good this is all good stuff again the way Andre designed this you still got that point um, no pizza is safe with that type of point and this thing man this fits in your hand and you can do whatever the hell you want to and granted it's a big dog I mean this will scare the women and children I'm kicking around and I've been doing it for a while but I know he's been busy and you can tell man this thing's been scratched and scuffed and uh, of course that's raw TI but uh, I'm thinking about been thinking about sending this to Derek Carlson at DNA lasering and just having something done on it um, man I've had several people quite a few people actually try to get this from me and I've priced it high because I know if I let this thing go I'm immediately just gonna be right back out there looking for another one because this is just one of those blades I mean it just does everything well um, it, it's big 
but it's flat it lays flat in your pocket so you know in your pocket you've got some width but it's up towards the top of your pocket and I carry big knives all the time I'm a big knife I you know I'm a big knife guy I like big knives and um, and this thing for such a big knife carries really well uh, it's got your jimping where you know on your flip tab where you need it um, and this thing just fires and it fires easy and god that sound is just what you want to hear I mean that just sounds like it means business of course you got your lanyard here in the back you know uh, just uh, this thing just it'll do it whatever you want it to do it'll do it flat out do it just a badass knife I just love this thing so if you've ever looked at these cleavers uh, these battle cleavers they they can be a little expensive there's no question about it but man this is like i you know i always refer to this as a cadillac of knives i mean it it's big and it's obtrusive but it's civilized i mean the action on this thing the fit the finish on all his knives all of them they're just phenomenal i mean they just work and they work well and the ergonomics are always right and where they should be the feel, the fit, the finish. I mean, this is a Cadillac right here. This is a Cadillac of knives. Uh, you know, you might go, well, I'll give you an example. So here we go. So we talk big sheepdog. So this is the sheepdog XL. And this is 100 bucks. And let's say new, that was maybe eight, 900. Now a lot of guys will go, well, I can do the same thing with either one of those. Well, okay do it I don't give a shit for me I collect knives I like knives I like nice knives this for a hundred bucks was one of the best deals on the planet last year I mean this thing was was amazing and it, it, it's fun but it's a basic knife you know you can you can tear the shit out of this and I use it you know it's it's been used and if I snap it in half it's a hundred bucks I can go get another one but it's not the same action it's not the same fit it's not the same feel I mean, it's just a, uh, it's just a, uh, you know, it's a big knife for the sake of being big. And I'm not dogging this thing. They did really well with it for the price point. It, it was amazing. But this, this is the Cadillac. Okay, so Hyundai Cadillac. Get it? And these things, you can, man, you Andre can just do anything. These things, I've I've seen some crazy crazy stuff done with these and stunningly gorgeous but uh, for me I want a battle cleaver that is ready for battle and that's what that is I you know I, I I've always spoken highly of Andre's knives and and there's a reason for that I've had a crap load of them and never once have I been disappointed now some of them weren't exactly my style but um, never once have I regretted ever getting one so let's see what this thing weighs well let's do this okay here we go so just put it up against Kershaw there you go so you know 4 inch 3.2 give you an idea size wise let's see what she weighs oh and just FYI, I am also rocking the Geared Hardware Stealth today. Still loving these watches. Every once in a while, I'll look down and I'll see something across the face and I'll think, oh man, I scratched that. And then I stop and remember whose watch I'm wearing and grab a cloth and rub it off. And man, these things, I, I abuse them, smack them into stuff, knock them around, and they still look new. Still very impressed with them. Geared Hardware. GearedHardware.com. Check them out. They're on IG as well. All right. So let's see what this thing weighs. So a little over eight and a half ounces. Man, that's actually, I thought this thing would be a lot closer to 10. That's pretty damn good. Um, you know, if this is five and a half and that's only three ounces more. For almost another inch of blade that's impressive I mean this thing could easily be over 10 ounces so that surprises me a little bit I mean that just makes you know that just makes the uh, 
the carryability of it even better. So, you know, it's if it's in your jeans pocket, which I'm a, I pretty much wear Duluth all the time, so I, you know, cargos, but if it's in your your main right pocket, you're probably not going to want to be sticking your hand in and out of your pocket all the time because this thing's going to get in the way a little bit. But if you have 12 or 13 pockets like I do, <laughs> You got you got you got room for a lot more stuff. Oh shoot! All right, so I think I've covered everything. M390, my favorite blade uh, flavor of steel, one of them. Um, man, this is cool. If you've ever thought about looking at cleavers, man, there's a reason why these cost what they do. Even though they're a mid tech, I mean, Andre does everything to them, man. He just has them, you know, water jetted or whatever, and cut and sent to him, and he does everything. And and uh, man. And I love these knives. I absolutely do. So, what did we learn today, boys and girls? We've got the ADV Battle Cleaver. Bad ass knife. Got the Mini Cleaver. Still badass. Just not quite as big. Got Wasteland Oddities. Check them out. They make all kinds of crazy cool stuff. Got geared Hardware, GearedHardware.com, WastelandOddities.com. ADVs carried by all the big guys online. Um, you know, Knife Center, Blade HQ, and you know, there's quite a few. A lot of people carry Andre. He's been around a long time. He makes some crazy stuff. He's just constantly on Instagram too, um, doing one-offs and and you know. He'll throw them up on the IG and say, hey, this is available. You know, give me a shout. So if you guys have ever been curious, if you've never owned an ADV, you are missing out. Even if it's not a cleaver, you need to try an ADV, period, regardless of what design or model it is. They're just, they're a Cadillac when it comes to knives. Well, there you go, guys. Hey, I appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Tell your friends. <laughs> I hope you guys are all having a good summer. And until next time, have a great day.